is the next matter of urgent importance by Ariel Asulo Duro of Egbalan. Mr. Speaker, distinguished honorable members, I rise based on order 8 and 4 put together on the matter of public, urgent public importance and uh, to allow me to take this matter as such and uh, I so move Mr. Speaker. It's on the motion about the need to investigate issuance of operational licenses to top operators, labor recruiters, labor exchange agencies and employment agencies as it promotes the issue of modern slavery, human trafficking, domestic servitude, and forced labor confronting Nigerian citizens home and abroad. Please permit me, Mr. Speaker, to move it. Seconded. My name is Vincent Ekene Ufumele Esquire. I represent the good people of Anambra State starting from OU of OE, and I am a federal constituency. Mr. Speaker, I rise to second this important motion. Heavily moved my, my colleague, Right Honorable Isiaka. I so second. Mr. Speaker, Rep. Ibrahim Ayokuni Isiaka, I represent the very good people of Ifo, a week of federal constituency. I'm from Ogo State, Mr. Speaker, and um, I hereby move a motion about the need to investigate issuance of operational licenses to top operators, labor recruiters, labor exchange agencies, and employment agencies as it promotes the issue of modern slavery, human trafficking, domestic servitude, and forced labor confronting Nigerian citizens home and abroad. The House notes the successful mm, implant okay. mechanism, systems and vehicles of social development decadence, and the root cause of the challenges facing the development of integrated and a well-coordinated, orchestrated plans in Nigeria, forcing uh, our children home and abroad. The House further knows the need and recall for investigation on the dealings and activities of travel agencies, top operators, labor recruiters, labor exchange agencies, sports and educational agencies, and other bodies involved in movement of citizens in and out of Nigeria as the first point of call at addressing the issue of modern slavery out of the country, in particular reference to citizens migrating to the Middle East. The house is disturbed that modern day slavery and its related issues are commixed in a web of complexities and continues to thrive because of the growing lapses in our institutions, among others. To share key factors, as noted by international labor organization, there are estimated 40.3 million people trapped in modern slavery around the world at every given time. Of these 40.3 million, 24.9 million people are estimated to be within situations of forced labor. Out of the 24.9 million people trapped in forced labor, 16 million people are exploited within the private sector. This includes in fields such as domestic work, construction, and agriculture. 8 million of these 24.9 million are persons suffering from forced sexual exploitation. Around 4 million of the 24.9 million are institutions of forced labor imposed by state authorities, even within us. Women and girls are disproportionately affected by the forced labor. 99% of the victims are in the commercial sex industry. And 58% in other sectors, Nigeria are today ranked top amongst nations with the sub sahara region with our citizens estimated to make up about 25% of the victims trapped owing the issue before us and the House today. The House is concerned that Nigeria occupies a central position in West Africa as a country of origin, transit, and destination for victims of human trafficking, forced labor, exploitation for men, women, and children. 
They are being daily traffic to Western Europe. Middle East and West African Central African countries, under deception for purposes of exploit in a wide range of industries, let alone what we see is that they subject them to sex, sex trade, baby factory, domestic work, mining, stone quarry, manufacturing, and work in farms and plantations subject to the old slavery method. The House is worried that these impunities have become hard, strong, and rock solid because legislations are more of sharp legislations than are enforced. Any legislation that is not backed with the weight of enforcement is replete with constant abuse by the perpetrators. In fact, then one can boldly say that modern slavery perpetrators in Nigeria have been able to grow this insidious economic evil over the years and certainly find expression in perpetrating these evils on us because of the weak system and unchecked institutions. The House is further worried about the unanswered questions of how, when, who recruits, and who receives at the other end. These are part of the steps that this most honorable house wishes to take. For this reason, the House resolves, Mr. Speaker, distinguished honorable members, mandates committees on one, labor and productivity, human rights, where we have NAPTI under them, youth, diaspora, to carry out an investigative hearing on the process of issuance of licenses to top operators, labor recruiters, labor exchange employment agencies, and all hosts of others surrounding the rings of traveling agencies in Nigeria and abroad. The House further says that the Committee on Compliance to ensure a very strict compliance to this resolution of the House. I so move, Mr. Speaker. Distinguished Honorable Senator Ibrahim for a record. <laughs> During the course of the presentation of this motion, I've tried as much as possible to exhaustively um, espouse the root cause as little as I could, what is trending and the challenges facing us in the country, as far as uh, child labor, human trafficking, servitude, and slave trade of the old, which has now returned to the country. The House, through our respective standing committees, has explained, this is a time that we need to really find out the root cause analysis con to be conducted, look and fish out the culprits they are among us. We see them nearly daily. We see them around us. Some under suspicion. Some people have even been caught in the act. How have they been able to escape justice? Is it because of our weak institutions? Or there are no consequences even for those that supposed to address all these issues? Daily, we, we hear on television, we see on TV, cries of woes, despondency. Whereby even from abroad, you see many of these children uh, youth that have been deceived either by their neighbors or by their care, um, uh, carers or those that are more vulnerable are our youth in the villages that are, their parents are possibly half literate. They go to tell them, I want to go and send your daughter, I'll take your daughter to school, I want to have to go and learn this, I want to, have to, go, to go and learn that. On the pretext, immediately leave the shore of this country. Mr. Speaker, the student honorable members, it's so sad if you see what they normally do with them abroad. And the receivers at that other end, I have not of recent heard, seen anywhere those that they have even rescued back into this country where consequences of the land, that is the laws of the land, have been caught up with them. People back at home here, those they have caught, we have not seen where they have been punished. So these are what we want these committees to find out, investigate, bring people to book, and let us know the way forward. 
to rescue all these our youth. Yes, there are no jobs, but the ones available are more than enough for people to do. So say, I'm just deceiving them and taking them abroad for all these dirty jobs. I want to appeal that the House, through the respective committee, should intervene to rescue the situation. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you very much for the, for the motion. Say aye. Against any, that's a big. All members.